When you look at what actually connects us as human beings, it's this need and, and motivation to find happiness and joy in our lives. You want to laugh, you want to play. My name is Jessica Osmidyama Idoni Matthews. I'm 26 years old, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Uncharted Play. When I go to Nigeria for different family events, as much as I see and experience all of the issues that one would find and expect in the developing world, it's also really hard to miss the amount of happiness and joy infused in daily life. This inspired me to really rethink the function of fun and whether we could use fun as more than just a mere distraction, but as the core platform from which we seek to address social ills. When the socket was invented, the goal was to create something that would address a serious global issue, the issue of reliable power. Nearly two billion people are living without reliable access to power. When the sun goes down, that's the end of your day. You're not reading any books. You're not doing any math problems. If you think about how many hours a child loses over the span of a year, and you compare that to the rest of the kids in the world who do have access to power, you start to see how you can be left back on that path towards creating the world that you want. This is a socket. It looks like a soccer ball, plays a lot like a soccer ball, but it's actually a lot more. It's an airless ball that generates electricity when you play with it. Inside the socket, there's a pendulum, a generator motor, and a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. When the ball rolls, the pendulum turns the generator that then powers up the battery. After 30 minutes of play, you can get over three hours of clean, renewable light. So the idea here is we're providing a platform for play to make the journey towards the solution that much happier. In 2013, I brought my team to Nigeria and met this kid named Josiah. Josiah is a shy 14-year-old boy who didn't really show much interest in science, but he loves soccer. We showed him the socket, and when we came back a few days later, it was unbelievable what he had done with barely any resources. He went to the dump to get extra parts, LED lights and batteries and wires, and had created larger lamps for his family to use. Honestly, I remember looking at him and turning to my head of engineering and saying that this kid is gunning for your job. He found his genius in electrical engineering. He now believed that he had the ability to make a difference in his community and in the lives of all of his friends and family. There are so many brilliant people in this world and simply not enough people telling them that they're brilliant. We want people to realize that with a willingness to play, that they can invent something that makes a difference in their life.